Good afternoon and I hope you're well. Um, I've got this old RC car and uh, it runs on one of these NICAD uh, or little metal hydride cells. Now this is very old and completely toast and won't won't hold a charge. But I'm too cheap to buy a new one so I thought I've got loads of these cells. These are lithium iron. Uh, these are actually 7650s inside here. Can I use this to replace this? Um, theoretically I should be able to because this is 7.2 volts. Two of these uh, 7650s will be 7.2 volts so the voltage will be the same. In fact this will be higher capacity because this is 5 amp hours and this is only 3 amp hours or 3.3 amp hours. So all I've got to do really is make this the same size as that and it should fit in there. Simple. Maybe. I also have this old uh, lithium ion or lithium polymer battery which has gone puffy. So uh, I can use this to nick the balance lead off and you may see this cell in another video. Just as a heads up. So uh, excuse the fan noise but I'm currently sitting here next to an air conditioner which is, happens to be solar powered. So it's drawing 488 watts and give me nice and cold. Um, so first thing I've got to do is uh, peel it I guess, so I've got to take the outside covering off, get the cells out, see how they're configured and then rearrange them so they'll fit in the car. Here's the pack after it's been peeled, you've got a protection piece to be on top of it which we can remove and it looks like we've got two negative ends, two positive ends, so these are connected two and two. So we should be able to take that half as one side of the cell, that half the other side of the cell, keep them all series and paralleled up, and just basically peel it round, if you see what I mean. I think I understand. It's always fun playing with sharp knives, metal knives and batteries. So that's the BMS being cut off. And what we've left with now is we've got a link down here. These two cells here are in parallel that's in parallel and then them both are in series with this bus bar so we should just be able to bend it round like so wire it wire in the appropriate connectors so we have balance lead there there and there and in the main power from there to there and that is roughly the same size as the old cell so it should fit hopefully I wonder if I can take this apart and use these end covers. Hmm. So this battery has now been peeled. Now the covers on the bottom are just plastic and they they fit but they're very loose. So maybe you could pack them out a bit of tape or something. Um, I'm still thinking about what to do there. Uh, but I can get to this end and desolder these wire terminals here and actually get this connector off. So that was worth doing at least. So I want to get the balance lead off this battery. Now it's tempting just to go along and cut them all in one go, but you don't want to do that because if you cut them, you can short out individual cells. So what you want to do is cut each wire individually, one at a time. So I've extended the positive lead so it can reach around the cells. Remember to sleeve. So that's soldered on there. Uh, that took quite a bit of heat to get in there. I've got the iron set to 350 degrees. My thought being for sales, you want maybe it's best to go for a hotter but a shorter amount of time rather than cooler and a longer amount of time being exposed to the heat. But it's a good joint there. Another one, it's not as good a joint there, but it's on. And so that's my main wires connected. And then I just need a set of balance leads connected. And uh, that's nearly done. Right, so I've wet wrapped the cells and uh, it now looks just like a bought one. So, uh, just have to see if that works. Well, the good news is that it very nearly fits. So I'm going to call that in. And the good news is, it seems to work. So, uh, yeah. I think that is at least a success. If it blows up, I'm sure to uh, film it and let you know.